EasyJet, a prominent low-cost airline, has set a new aviation record by placing a substantial order with Airbus. This strategic move underlines the airline's commitment to expanding and modernizing its fleet. The order, the largest in EasyJet's history, includes a significant number of Airbus A320neo aircraft, marking a significant step in the airline's plans for future growth and sustainability. EasyJet has struck a deal to expand its fleet through the purchase of more than 150 new aircraft and outlined plans to restart shareholder payouts following record profits over the summer. The UK-based airline on Thursday announced a deal with Airbus for 157 new short-haul aircraft for delivery from 2029 alongside purchase rights for a further 100 in an agreement worth $19.9 billion. Although airlines typically negotiate substantial discounts, it brings the total number of planes it has on order to 315 by 2034 and follows a forecast for record pre-tax profits of between 850 million pounds and 870 million pounds for the six months between April and September. This will enable EasyJet's fleet modernization and growth to continue while providing substantial benefits including cost efficiencies and sustainability improvements, said Chief Executive Johan Lundgren. The airline made the announcement as it forecast pre-tax profit of between £440 million and £460 million for the financial year ending in September. EasyJet believes it has a road to much higher profitability than the street does, Bernstein analyst Alex Irving said. The new plane orders will allow EasyJet to replace older aircraft with larger and more fuel-efficient models and promote disciplined growth over the next decade, the company said. EasyJet joins a growing list of airlines placing orders with Airbus and Boeing to fuel growth over the next decade and beyond. Ryanair signed a deal to buy more than 300 Boeing planes earlier this year, while Air India announced an order for 470 planes from Airbus and Boeing, one of the biggest aviation orders in history. But the booming order book has led to supply chain problems and left manufacturers struggling to deliver aircraft to their customers. EasyJet said it expected supply chain bottlenecks at Airbus and Boeing to continue into the 2030s and that it needed to place an order now to ensure supply feature delivery slots. The deal follows a landmark order with Airbus signed in 2022, which saw the airline's largest shareholder and founder Stelios Haji Eyano drop his long-running opposition to ordering new aircraft. EasyJet on Thursday also became one of the first major European airlines to announce the resumption of shareholder payouts following the COVID-19 pandemic in one of the clear signals that the industry has put the crisis behind it. In a full-year trading update, the company said it planned to pay shareholders 10% of 2023's profits after tax, with the first payouts expected early next year. Lundgren also laid out new targets for the business, including reaching pre-tax profit of £1 billion in the medium term. This will be driven by reducing winter losses, upgaging, upgrading our fleet, and growing EasyJet holidays, he said. Looking to demand for the start of the seasonally slower winter period, EasyJet forecast a 13% year-on-year rise in flight capacity for the final three months of this calendar year at higher prices. Signs of healthy demand for flying will be welcomed as the industry faces questions over whether the travel boom is sustainable. This may be a slight disappointment to shorter-term investors, however, the reintroduction of the dividend, the new medium-term targets and the new aircraft order should be welcomed, the analyst said. EasyJet is now targeting annual profits of £1 billion, $1.22 billion, a goal it says it will meet by operating larger aircraft, growing EasyJet holidays and reducing losses in the winter. Lundgren said bookings for the winter were healthy, but acknowledged that the airline may need to simulate demand outside of peak school breaks with discounts.